statement, Alejandro Gonzalez of Mexico, just to underline the point again, we may never have seen a fighter this young who is so professionally seasoned. 36 professional fights already at age 21, the first three of them before his 15th birthday. Both of those two losses relatively early in his career, 24 knockouts in 34 fights. Right now, let's go up to ring announcer Michael Buffer for the pre-fight introductions. Uh, ladies and gentlemen, Cedric Kushner Promotions in association with Corona Beer, La Cerveza Masvina presents a double championship rumble from deep in the heart of Texas. Both bouts are sanctioned by the Texas Department of Licensing and Regulation. Executive Director, Jack Garrison. Boxing Coordinator, Rick Valdez. Physicians at ringside, Dr. Paul Sines, Dr. Jorge Guerrero, and Dr. Gerardo Zavala. The timekeepers are Bill Gavin and James Gaffney. This bout is presented in association with Garden State Boxing, and it's also sanctioned by the World Boxing Council. President Jose Suleiman, supervisors at ringside, Robert Fussy and Mario Latraverse. The three judges assigned to ringside scoring the bout on a 10-point must system are Jose Juan Guerra, Adrian Morgan, and Gail Van Hoy. And in the ring at this time, the man who will be in charge of the action, working for the second time in a world title belt, referee Lawrence Cole. Ladies and gentlemen, tonight's card is dedicated to the memory of Gordon Wood. And now, ladies and gentlemen, it's time for part one of the double rumble. So, ladies and gentlemen, from the home of the CHL Iguanas, the San Antonio, Texas Coliseum, uh, let's get ready to run. Introducing first, fighting out of the red corner, wearing white and weighing 126 pounds. He brings a professional record of 34 victories against only two defeats. And that includes 24 KOs. From Guadalajara, Jalisco, Mexico, the number one ranked challenger in the world, Alejandro Gobrita Gonzalez. his opponent across the ring, fighting out of the blue corner, wearing teal, trimmed in gold, weighing 126 pounds also, he brings a perfect professional record of 41 consecutive victories without a loss, and he has KO'd 29 of those opponents. Ladies and gentlemen, from Flushing, New York, presenting the undefeated WBC featherweight champion of the world, the Flushing Flush. I gave you your instruction to dress your room tonight. I want you to protect yourself and obey my commands at all times. Understood? Touch him up and good luck. Kevin Kelly was knocked down in each of two fights against very good Mexican fighters. The question is whether Gonzalez will go after Kelly early or wait for Kelly to come to him and counterpunch him. Go. Both Gregorio Vargas and Jesse Benavides knocking Kelly down in 1993. Both fights won by back. Kelly back up, back up, Kelly. via the decision route. Right. Kelly's up, a southpaw. Gonzalez tells us he's fought seven southpaws in his career, and though he says he's more of a boxer, he says he's knocked all seven of those southpaws out. Right-hand lead by Gonzalez. And, of course, the right-hand lead is one of those textbook items that you use against a southpaw, George. And there's another one that lands right on Kelly's button. The thing with fighting a, a southpaw, you, you lead with the right hand, but you've got to start things up on your left because you just can't start right. You've got to create a little opening for those right-hand leads. Kevin Kelly with a left-hand lead that scored. Both fighters going to power punches early. You get him set up by jabbing, jabbing, real ordinary. Then you start leading with the right with him not expecting it. Kelly, for a brief moment there, switched his feet into a conventional stance. He says you'll see that from time to time. And there's Gonzalez with a hard right hand inside. He was caught with a straight left hand by Kevin Kelly first. Kelly has landed a couple of good, solid left hands early in the fight. Gonzalez 
has scarcely blinked. Kelly now switching to a conventional stance, leading with the left, and as he switches back, he gets hammered twice with right hands from Gonzalez. Kelly resorting to the jab. Midway through round one, there's been a lot of heavy level. Good left hook inside by Kelly, good right hand as well. Gonzalez seems to wait until he has some contact, then he throws punches. You can do that when you're fighting a guy who's not considered a dangerous puncher. Taste his punch and then hit him. Three good punches by Gonzalez. Crowd responds. He hit him with a good, solid shot, but it was because he caught him coming in. Kelly got in another hard left moments ago, and then the left hand there partially blocked. Already a little blood from Gonzalez's nose, I believe. It's been a rousing first round. Before one of the all-time enthusiastic crowds. Two roundhouse misses and then two hard punches landing for Alejandro Gonzalez. And as we go to Gonzalez's corner between rounds, our interpreter is Hector Garcia. You've got to be very careful. You have to be very careful. Don't go in, that, don't go in straight forward. You're listening? Go in and come out. Hit and come out. Vaseline. How do you feel? Hit and don't stand there. You have to hit. You have to hit. Don't stand there. Be careful. Move your weight. Go get him. Go get him. Go get him. Watch this exchange. This is boxing at his best. Left followed by a left. Neither fighter going anywhere. Kelly comes back with an excellent combination. Gonzalez lands his own. One of the things I wonder here, fellas, is that although Gonzalez does have a lot of experience for a 21 years old, he's still 21 years old. And, and you wonder how much of this a 21 year old can take. Watch your head. Referee Lawrence Cole already alerting the fighters to watch their head. As Gonzalez says, I got bumped in the mouth by the top of Kelly's skull. That's going to happen a lot when you southpaw the fighting against a traditional boxer. You always get caught on the wrong side of the face with the head. Gonzalez loves power punches. He landed 29 of them in round one. Good right hand by Kelly there, but he was backing away. You get the sense, George, that Kevin Kelly's already developed a certain respect for Alejandro Gonzalez's punching power. And he has better have some respect because this guy can punch. He's 21 year old, but he's fighting like he's got this, uh, the savvy of a 32 year old. Well, 36 pro fights at age 21. Does his age mean anything? Age has a lot to do with it, but this guy's well equipped with age and experience also. Two hard left hands inside by Kelly. Gonzalez backs off momentarily. Kelly has had some knockouts lately, so he'll dig in and exchange a lot more than he ought to these days. Sometimes knockouts like that can give you a false sense of courage that you shouldn't have. Good right-left combination again by Kelly. And the left hand lands over the top. Kevin Kelly standing toe-to-toe -to -toe with a guy who looks like a power puncher. Feet square, taking chances. This is dangerous stuff, George. He's taking a lot of chances, but at the same time, he's using excellent position. He throws his left, and then he puts his right foot right in the middle of this guy. Uppercut landed for Gonzalez. Seems to stun Kelly momentarily. Kevin stops throwing. Gonzalez left hook. 
think it's a mistake when a good champion who knows how to box revert to fighting. You got a title, keep it, box your way into it. Keep your title by boxing. Kevin Kelly insisted to us that he would fight a smart fight. Go! Go! He said, on the other hand, he wants to show Gonzalez he's stronger. He mentioned that he would hit and get out of the way, but these days, he's hitting and, and looking as though he's trying to assess his damage. Yeah, he's hitting and standing flat-footed, watching his work. Good hard left hand by Kelly. And another. Gonzalez just missing with the right uppercut. Kelly again lands the left over the top. Pretty good round for Kevin Kelly, but he took a lot of chances to score. I know what you're doing, but it's dangerous. You got me? Close your eyes. Chill. where you focusing on? Right there. Spit it out. Spit it out. Ah. All right, relax. Look at me, champ. Are you focusing on me or what's yeah. behind you? Yo. Now look at me. By you laying inside, you're getting swollen from banging heads. Do you understand? It don't mean nothing. Look at me. You have to be smarter. You're still aiming for the beaner. Why are you aiming for the beaner? To the body. Where have we worked? So where have we worked? We don't want to catch him up here. We want to catch him right in here. Do you understand? A la altura del pecho. Go hit him in, the, hit in, the, in his, his chest. Hit him at the, the height of his chest. Protector. Give him the protector. Well, fellas, if the fighters listen to their trainers, we're going to see some great chest punching in this round. Both trainers said the same thing. Kelly's trainer, Phil Borgia. Stingali-style relationship. Borgia's been with him since the early amateur days. Gonzalez's trainer is a man named Jose Reynoso. I think Kelly's corner made a mistake trying to change boats now. This guy was doing good. What you try to do is just tell him, don't forget the body and leave it alone. Now he's concentrating on the chest. And he's going to end up getting knocked down. You got to keep doing what you're doing. Just say, don't forget about the chest. You wait around for a good opportunity. The chest is not an easy shot to land. You saw Kelly switch feet again and land the lead left hand. Pace slows a little bit in round number three as both fighters try to employ the new strategies recommended by their trainers. You gotta let it happen within the flow. Once you've started to the head, it's hard to put on brakes and go back to the body. Right hand lead a little short by Gonzalez. So you see Kelly has found himself aiming for the chest and having the round being taken away by being out uh, hustled. You can start a lot of frustration with a fighter because he's saying, I'm doing good, but I haven't landed anything to the chest. He gets frustrated and don't know that he's doing real good. Go back to what you're doing. Stick to it and don't move anything. Just keep doing good. This is what you should tell a fighter. You think both fighters earn too much respect from each other in the first two rounds? No doubt about it. I, I think Kelly, though, has caught, caught his stuff in the, in the midst of uh, confusion from his corner trying to land chest punches. Now Kelly gets aggressive and goes upstairs again and lands a couple of left-hand leads. And here he comes following with the right hand. When a fighter's not landing good body shots, what you do is concentrate on refreshing him in the corner. That's all. Short right hand landed inside for Gonzalez. Kelly backed him away with the right hand. Gonzalez fighting an extremely conservative round, considering what he had been able to accomplish in the first two rounds. Now Gonzalez begins to open up a little bit again. When Kelly started to go right back to the head like he was in the first round or so, he's doing good. But that, that chest punching, just don't start it like that. It has, it has to happen in the flow. Straight right hand landed right on the kiss of Kelly. What is going to be? Round three, a much more tactical round than its two predecessors. Kelly landed a left and now a right and a flurry. Yeah, Kelly, he's, he's only stalling so he can land one shot to the chest. It's not going to happen like that. You got to catch him while he's throwing a shot and hit him in the chest. Tentative round for Gonzalez. Kelly got aggressive in the last minute and a half. We go to round four. 
Coming up next, Orlando Canisales from Laredo, Texas, 150 miles away. Moving up from the bantamweight division where he has ruled to the junior featherweight division, four pounds up the road to fight reigning champion Wilfredo Vasquez of Puerto Rico. Yeah, kid, do you understand me? Yeah. Look in my eyes. Do you understand me? Understand. Every time you get careless, you know what happens? What? You get puffy, and I don't want that. I want that jab serious, and when you make him miss that right hand, I want the counters that you only, only you can work so well. Do you got me? I got you. Show me then, goddammit. You got me? I'm not playing with this guy, and you better stop playing with him. I want smarts. <laughs> I think Phil Borges is upset at his fighter, George. Yeah, because he gave him the wrong instructions to go to the chest. And he came back out and went to the head because the chest wasn't there. He told him to do such, to wait around for a body punch. Then he jumps on him for doing it. In round three, punched at numbers counted nine power punches for Gonzalez versus 18 for Kelly. So the edge which had belonged to Gonzalez early in power punching belonged to Kelly in round three. Now here comes Gonzalez being aggressive again. And Kelly not throwing now as Gonzalez backs him into a corner and flails away. Crowd rises to this. Kevin gets back to the middle of the ring. I tell you, I blame that kind of stalling around and messing around on the trainer. The trainer mixed him up, did what he told him to do the previous round, and he didn't thank him. He came right back and jumped on him for not jabbing when he didn't tell him to land one jab. Trainer Jose Reynoso told Alejandro Gonzalez between rounds, move side to side and get him back against the ropes. Well, for a minute there, Gonzalez was executing that strategy perfectly, but now Kevin Kelly back in the middle of the ring where he's more effective. That's true. You're looking at a couple of featherweights fighting like heavyweights, trading power shots toe to toe. And he's the champion that should never have been in this kind of fight at all. He went out trying to prove power, going for the chest, made a hard fight. He's going to have to box himself out of this or find himself in a toe-to-toe -to -toe fight. Talking about Kelly. Kevin Kelly. He didn't need to be in this fight at all. Gonzalez is having the fight that he needs right now. A brawl for the first five or six round brawl. Make him mix it up. Make him get puffy. He's getting what he wants. It's true. He's got nothing to lose. He can only become champ of the world. Straight right hand landed for Gonzalez. Kelly backs into the ropes where Gonzalez has been more effective. Hard left hand inside by Gonzalez. That one missed. He's allowing Gonzalez to just walk in. No jab, nothing. Just walk to me. I'll be there waiting on you. Kelly should not allow him to just walk in. He's got to touch him. Make him stop for a moment and think. Kevin Kelly battled a bad cold for eight or nine days coming into this week. He said he didn't think it would affect him here tonight. But Kevin hasn't had the movement you might have expected so far, George. Well, there's a hard left hand by Kelly. And he looks to follow up, but Gonzalez once again, as Larry Merchant pointed out earlier, seemingly unfazed by Kelly's power shot. Give me this. Spit it out. Spit it out. Okay. How you feeling? Decent. Okay. I feel like I'm in a war. Now, how, Larry, oh, how do you score it through four rounds? Larry, without question, three to one, 39-37, Alejandro Gonzalez. Boxing judges look for guys that, that show effective aggressiveness, that get off first, and that land the cleaner shots. And this is what Gonzalez is doing. He's backing up Kevin Kelly. That's effective aggressiveness. He's landing those cleaner hooks and the harder jabs. That's harder punching. Well, I do have a question, Harold. As usual, I have the, the fight two rounds apiece. I see it like that a bit myself. But then I don't I'm see that there. well. Gonna... <laughs> I've been hit a bit too much. Well, you've been go, dishing Bill. out as well as taking, Bill. George. Bunch 
stack numbers through the fourth round showed Gonzalez with the edge in connect percentage. He's landing almost half of his punches. In no way is this a Kevin Kelly fight. Gonzalez is the better. He's having things his way at this point. It's a slugfest. Kelly's boxing skills not a factor so far. Gonzalez again backs Kevin Kelly into the ropes. And again, no footwork, no escape. Kevin Kelly just stands there and takes it, occasionally throwing a shot in return. All Kelly is trying to do is get his feet in a position, one after another, to land a good hard shot. And this is not the kind of way he can become, remain head, uh, uh, the, the champion of the world. No, it, it, he's he, got a box. If he thinks he's going to knock Gonzalez out, he should have paid attention to what's happened so far. He hasn't sent Gonzalez anywhere with power shots, and he's landed a bunch. Kevin Kelly is brave. He's awful brave. But he looks sluggish to me, George. Looks like a guy who might have been overtrained or bothered badly by that cold he carried into the ring. I think the round that he led up to, to land bunch, punches to the chest gave the other guy too much courage. And once you turn a young guy on like that with courage, you're not going to stop him with any slaps. Hard right hand by Gonzalez. Kelly turns and looks at his corner as if to say to trainer Phil Borja, what am I doing out here? Kelly beginning to miss more frequently here in round five. Gonzalez remains the aggressor. He's got a 21-year-old guy from Mexico who's got a lot of encouragement, who wants to be champion of the world here. He's got everything to win, nothing to lose. American Texan crowd on its feet rooting for Gonzalez round five a rousing stanza so far for the 21 year old challenger from Mexico Kevin Kelly is going to have to reach down deep and fight now you're champion of the world you want to keep it. you got to fight Mexicans feel this title should belong to them, and Gonzalez is fighting like that. Right the nose, tee up from me. Look at me. We talk the talk, kid. Now we walk the walk. Look at me. Look at me. You talk, kid, and you're not listening. Well, George, you talk the talk, kid, but now you're not walking the walk. You're fighting a stubborn fight, and that's not what we practice. Look at me. Everybody, do, ba everybody back home right now is saying, why is he fighting that way? Just like I'm saying. Yeah, I, feel I want you, look at me. He's out here trying to knock him out. Here we see them shoulder to shoulder, toe to toe. Is this Kelly's fight or is this Gonzalez's fight? So far, it's Gonzalez's. Alejandro Gonzalez by punch stat numbers through 106 punches in round five. Pretty hard for Kelly, Kevin Kelly to weather that storm against a guy who appears stronger so far. And Gonzalez is strong, if nothing else. Kevin Kelly's corner could have told him, should have been real smart, said, man, you're the champion of the world, you want your title, you're gonna have to fight for it now. Maybe they should have said, you're going to have to box for it, George. He can't box now because he's thrown into a fight, and you're not going to be able to come out of this boxing. you got to fight now. This is becoming a rout for the moment. All of this talk about karate and taekwondo, teaching to a fighter, you got to tell a fighter, son, this is fighting. Nothing is going to work but punching. Kelly badly stunned, and down he goes. Three, four, five. Third time in his
his career that Kelly has been knocked down. We told you about the first two. He's in more trouble now than in either of those two previous situations. And look at Gonzalez go to the body to try to set up the finish. Again to the body. Kelly now begins to throw back. He's got to take fight. punches. Kelly's got to fight. He won't get it on points. He's getting belted, George. But he's going to have to fight out of it. Any man that box can fight. He's staggering Kevin Kelly, trying to make it out of round six. His title, his unbeaten record on the line. Anyone can do it if they put their mind to it and just don't look for no boxing. There's nobody can help you, no corner. You got to fight. Kelly landed a solid right hand. There's another one. Should he be holding on, George? No, he should be fighting right now. Well, he's doing the right thing then. He's looking for instructions from his corner. The corner has got to tell him, you're not a celebrity, right. you're a boxer. Long way to go. Kelly backs Gonzalez off with a left hand. Now lands a combination. Turns the tide. Fight. It's got to be fight team fight now. Gonzalez, who is momentarily wobbly as Kevin Kelly tries to come off. Kelly's right eye swollen badly. One day you wake up in the morning as a boxer and find out that I'm not a boxer, I'm a fighter. I believe it was a sh right hand that finally did it. There's the punch on the ear, a delayed reaction. Back of the head on the ear. That was the punch that knocked him down. The challenger fought like a real challenger in that round. The champion came back like a champion. Folks, this is what it's all about. You saw the eye. You know what Kelly's up against now. Six out of 12 rounds in the books. After throwing more than 100 punches in round number five, Gonzalez threw 109 punches in round number six and landed almost two-thirds of them. And here they go again. He just doesn't know it yet. You're fighting a 21 year old, you got to do what he can't do, and that's have experience to recover from hurt, from being hurt. Both fighters seemingly a little in the recovery stages after that tumultuous round six. Kevin Kelly would only come back with his right hook after that lead left hand. He could do some damage here. Depending too much on the power of his uh, straight left. He's going to have trouble seeing the left hand leads from Gonzalez now with that right eye so badly swollen. That's right, and that has a lot to do with him catching, but Gonzalez has went out there to win the title. He hasn't come out there to feel his way around.
getting a little recovery time, too. Kevin Keller's reaching around. Hard right hand by Gonzalez. Blood trickling from Kevin Kelly's nose. Oh, step back. It's... Good left hand lead by Kelly. Hard shots again by Gonzalez. I thought Kelly came back well in that round. Until the very end. Look at me. Look at me. Now. You want to keep the title, champ? Look at me. You want to keep this title? Yeah. Then I want you in the film mode. If you ain't Kevin Kelly today, you'll be... Look at me. You ain't Kevin Kelly today, you'll be me. You got me? Look at me. Nobody defeats me. You got it? Gotcha. Now. Everything you have to Look at me. I got the energy to do it. Look at me. You got the energy to talk? Take the energy and the strength to listen to me. You're not going to be you, being me. I'm smart, right? Yeah. When I'm on the inside, I make you pay, don't I? Yeah. But you're enjoying your work, kid. Look at me. Continue the angle and work. Work. Oh, no, sir, I keep following this. him. You're following him, but you're not, you're not throwing. Muy vivo. No se quede estático. Don't stay, don't stay there. Move from side to side. You got me? Well-known sure. cut man, Al Gavin. Working in Kevin Kelly's corner, not using the metal end swell we might have expected to see on that eyelid. George? I'm surprised, very surprised. You got. You would have expected Harold to see the end Harold, your score after seven rounds. Larry, 68 64, five rounds to two. Alejandro Gonzalez, he gets an extra point for the knockdown in the sixth. I thought he took off round seven, and Kevin Kelly pulled that out to make it a little closer, but Gonzalez would have commanded in four point lead. I have Gonzalez with a two-point lead, four rounds to three. And Gonzalez with some of the most spectacular punch stat numbers we've seen in recent fights. And Kelly's in severe trouble in his own corner. Kelly seemingly unable to see the punches coming, and Gonzalez just firing at will. yourself together you get right back into the mix come on George he's been successful fighting that way all fight why should he change yeah he but you're in for a world title fight you get yourself back you win in a fight you cool off recover then get back into it when you're young you got a chance you get right back in there and stand up for some more that Good was a hard left hand by Kelly he's coming on guys first time in 37 pro fights that Alejandro Gonzalez has been knocked down it's a big mistake that he doesn't box his way back and recover. I think he got back into the mix too quick. Kelly bringing the left over the top. And another hard left hand shot. Kevin Kelly showing a lot of stomach in this round. May be too big a margin to make up on the scorecards. He's got to get a knockout, and he's got to do it right now. 30 seconds left in the round as Kelly backs Gonzalez up against the ropes. A lot of this has happened to Gonzalez because he threw away a lot of power and a lot of energy and didn't get a knockout. Gonzalez looking a little arm weary here in the eighth. Those shots don't have the zip they had back in rounds five and six. Kelly finding himself a little bit. But the round is going to end just a little too quickly for the flushing flash. Have we got a flag? This nice guy shit. You're back, kid. Look at me. See up for me. Stay focused. You know, you're giving me gray hairs thinking you're Marvin Hagler and Matthew Sal Muhammad. You got me? Gotcha. 
How do, you, how do you feel? Let me see your ear. It's okay. It's okay. Okay, guys. There you see Kelly in trouble early in the early in the round before he turns it all around with one big left hand. You know, fellas, we haven't had a featherweight American featherweight star in half a century. Half a century since the days of Pep and Sadler. And if Ken Kevin Kelly can pull this one out in a sensational style that he showed in that round, we might have another one. Kelly connected on 44 of 69 attempted punches in round number eight. That 64% connect rate, the same connect rate that Alejandro Gonzalez had in the sixth round when he knocked Kelly down. George, I'm still wondering. Why isn't cut man Al Gavin using a metal inswell on Kevin Kelly's right eye? Ah, uh, he's not able to touch that eye with that ice bag at all. I don't know why. It's a terrible mistake. Evidently, he doesn't have experience. Here's a hard right hand by Kelly. Gonzalez took it pretty well. I don't think the importance of that knockdown can be overemphasized, not only in terms of scoring, but in the impression of the fight from the crowd, for the judges, for everyone. That Kelly is now back in the fight as far as this whole arena is concerned. And that was important to turn the tide of the fight. Well, I think Kevin Kelly's corner has told him not to be Marvin Hagler, not to be these tough guys. And this is wrong now. This is the time he's got to get tough. I can't see anyone not knowing that he's behind on points. You got to be Marvin Hagler right now. you've just joined us you are in a hockey arena arena in san antonio and a world-class featherweight boxing match has broken out tremendous battle through eight rounds between champion kevin kelly of flushing new york in the green trunks and alejandro gonzalez the number one ranked contender out of guadalajara mexico on the one both gonzalez, men have been down gonzalez corner told him not to walk in with doing nothing he's doing it He's walking in without throwing punches. Referee Lawrence Cole wants Gonzalez to keep him up. Hard left hand to the side of Kelly's head by Gonzalez. Right hand by Kelly, snaps Gonzalez, and there's another one. Kelly, if he's going to mix it up, mix it up now. The younger fighter is stronger, but at the same time, he's dropping his hand. He's got a rhythm to drop in his hand. This is the only chance you're going to get to knock him out. Gonzalez is not coming with the conviction that he did before the knockdown. And that has given Kelly room to operate and dominate this round. The champion, Kevin Kelly, starting to win rounds now. But will that be enough? And stick with us after this one concludes. More excitement to follow. Wilfredo Vasquez, world champion at 122 pounds, taking on Orlando Canizales, who had 16 consecutive successful title defenses at 118 pounds and now moves up in weight. Two of the best in the sport still to come. I begged you for nine weeks, and I worked you for nine weeks to block strong. Why the hell you think you're getting hit? Because I'm not blocking strong. When you hear five, six, seven, eight, he gets in trouble, OK? And every time, third thing now, every time you turn over, he's open for the right hand right off the left. You got me? Keep this. Look at me. Look at me. I love you, kid. Round 10 arrives. In round nine, 
Alejandro Gonzalez, who was throwing more than 100 punches per round back in the fifth and the sixth, threw only 46 punches. As he left his corner, Gonzalez's trainer, Reynoso, asked him to apply more pressure to Kelly. But how much does he have left? Now, Kelly, it's the first round he's starting to establish a better jab than his opponent. Kevin Kelly's using a good snappy jab. Because as Larry said earlier, Gonzalez stopped coming on with the conviction. He's allowing Kelly to even jab now with conviction. So could it be we'll actually see a couple rounds of boxing? <laughs> I think right now we may see some boxing. Kevin Kelly may want to go back to round one and start over. Now that the style of the fight plays a little bit more in his favor. Crowd gets restless as Gonzalez's punch output slows dramatically. Kelly throws a 1-2, and he thinks the guy's catching him when he should be throwing a 1-2-3, and that would stop that counter punch that he's being hit at as soon as he finishes punching. Suleiman is watching at ringside. The judges are from Wales, Mexico, and Austin, Texas. Here comes Gonzalez again. Starting to heat up. Sweeping right hand landed over the top for Kelly. Gonzalez with two hard left hooks. Kelly seems to want to take three and land one. That's not the way it ought to be done. But he's going back to the old, uh, you hit me two and I'll hit you one. But when Kelly backed into a corner, Gonzalez didn't pursue it. too much. Rex. Yeah, the fight is over. He's a young the guy. The fight he is can't over. See. And that young guy Wait is just this crowd stronger. responds, guys. Yeah. Let's get out and let the crowd react yeah, to this. There it is. Just when referee Lawrence Gold 
stopped it momentarily to give Kelly a chance to get the mouthpiece back in. Gonzalez was heating up again. He had thrown 99 punches in round 10. And referee Lawrence Cole is asked by Phil Borgia to execute a very humane stoppage as the champion, George, just couldn't see. Yeah, his eyes are closed right now. He was having trouble originally out of the right eye. Now the left eye is swollen up. He has no vision. It's a wise trainer. The trainer did an excellent job. He's seeing the end of a guy's career if he continues on with courage. So why not give him another day? Yeah, you heard Phil Borgia say there's always tomorrow. Interestingly, it's the first thing he said to Kelly all night that you agreed with. First thing he said all tonight, hey, be merciful. He'll get some mercy. Kevin is a good fighter. He'll have another day. But that's just too many punches unreturned, both eyes swollen. Now let's go to ring announcer Michael Buffer for the official particulars on this one. Ladies and gentlemen, referee Lawrence Cole, acting on the advice of the corner of Kevin Kelly, calls a halt to the bout at the end of round 10. The winner, y nuevo campeón, peso pluma del mundo, con Guadalajara, Jalisco, México, Alejandro Cobrita González. Final punch stat numbers, and you can see that Gonzalez had the edge in punches landed, in punches thrown, in connect percentage. He appeared to be headed toward a decision victory, although, George, the fight was still hanging in the balance. We're told that the scorecards to this point in the fight after 10 rounds had Gonzalez ahead by one point on two of the cards and by four points on a third card. So, in effect, he had won the fight on one of the three scorecards, but there was still room on two cards for Kevin Kelly to come back, win the 11th and 12th, and hold on to his championship. And I believe that. I saw it that fashion. Saw it that way exactly. Let's go to the ring and Larry Merchant. Okay, Alejandro, uh, congratulations. Would you tell us what you saw from Kevin Kelly's previous fights that made you think you could dominate him by being aggressive? ¿Qué tú nos puedes decir de las peleas que tuviste de, de Kelly anteriormente que te hacen uh, ser uh, más agresivo? No, la verdad, este, yo me, yo me preparé bastante conciencia. Estuve estudiando Kelly. Es un gran peleador, este, el cual este, decidí este, hacer una pelea de, de forzar la pelea lo más que se pudiera y gracias a Dios, aquí están las consecuencias. Uh, he said that he studied Kelly very, very well and he knew he had to be a lot more aggressive than, than he's seen in the tapes uh, by other fighters. And uh, he, he fought a smart fight and he knew he can win this fight by points, but he was a... Uh, fought a very smart fight. Alejandro, were you surprised that he still had enough energy and strength to knock you down for the first time in your career. ¿Tú crees que él tenía suficiente fuerza para poderte tumbar? No, la verdad no sentí, me, me agarró un buen golpe, pero gracias a Dios, gracias a mi condición, a condicionamiento físico, me supe reponer y ahí están las consecuencias. Uh, he, he, he punched me, he hit me with a good punch, and, uh, but I'm in very good physical shape, and uh, I was able to recover and, and get back in my feet. His eye seemed to be puffing up throughout the fight. Did he notice that, and was he able to take advantage of that? Notaste que el ojo de Kelly se estaba hinchando, se estaba hinchando. Sí, la verdad sí, pero usaste eso como como una ventaja. Como una táctica para ahí era un camino rumbo al triunfo y gracias a Dios se vino se vino el triunfo y estoy muy agradecido con la gente que me vino a apoyar aquí. Yes, they do make it. He took uh, advantage of that swollen eye uh, to the fullest, and uh, he's thanking everybody. Would you tell us how you feel about bringing the featherweight title back to Mexico? ¿Qué es lo que se siente traer ese ese título para México? No, pues más que nada este este es un honor para mí, pero it's an honor porque este campeonato siempre la pertenecido a México. Because this championship has always belonged to Mexico. Yo me preparé bastante bastante conciencia. I was uh, prepared to the fullest. 
porque ese campeonato le pertenece a México durante muchos años y uh, for many years this uh, this uh, belt belongs to Mexico. Y gracias a Dios yo lo recuperé. And thank God I recovered it. Thank you very much. Gracias. Thank you. Boys at ringside. I'll have Kevin Kelly for you momentarily. Hope All right. Thanks very much. He says he's going to get a shot at Kevin Kelly in a little while. We're going to see Alejandro Gonzalez uh, again. That's a terrific fighter. A star is born, no doubt about it. Yeah, and uh, he was able to land effectively with both hands, so there's no apparent weakness in this guy's offensive output, George. He's tough. He's, got, he's a good boxer, and he's going to even become even better. He's only 21 years old. Kevin Kelly, on the other hand, had a compassionate corner. And that's uh, probably probably the best thing he had tonight as a compassionate trainer who knew when to say that's enough. Why wasn't Kevin Kelly ever able in the early rounds to turn this thing into the kind of boxing match that might have played to his advantage? I think he had previously a couple of knockouts in his career just lately and it moved him into thinking that he was a puncher and it just took away from a very exciting fight. He should have started off boxing kept boxing but sometimes you can get tricked to thinking I can knock anybody out and you can't knock some people out. They just won't go. Well let's see what the flushing flash has to say about it as Larry Merchant is with him right now. Kevin somebody whispered to me after the fight that you thought the sequins from Gonzalez's trunks somehow affected your eye. Is that true? No. Or, or how? No, we're just throwing various combinations inside, and I wasn't getting out of the way. I wasn't doing what I was instructed to do right, by Phil so Borgia. That it, so that it was his punches. Phil's a great trainer. No, he's, I, I look, he's a good fighter. He's a good fighter. I take nothing from him. I thought I could knock him out. I fought the wrong fight today. You know, everybody has a bad day. I have 41 good days, and I have one bad day. Every fighter has a great day. Thank you. Good fight. You know, every fighter has a great day. Right, the next question is, why wasn't more done about your eye between rounds? We didn't see any any ice or any end swell being used. There was ice. There was end swell. I have Al Gavin, the best cut man in the business. All I want to say is, you know, I have no fear. I showed. I have a doctor called No Fear. I have no fear. I used it tonight. Were you too intent on being impressive, as you've often said? And that you let emotion get in the way of your best advantage as a boxer? It's possible. I told you, fighters are very emotional. We go up and down. We have our ups and downs. We have our moments. But today, I tried to do too much and not enough to win. I, I think I didn't listen to game plan. I didn't listen to what Phil Boards are expecting me. I want to say hello to my daughters, Ariel and Amber, who are at home. Don't worry, daddy's OK, and I will get another day. Let's take a look at the sixth round knockdown. You tell us what happened, Kevin. Well, I really wasn't hurt. It was more like. You know, I was trying to switch inside. He caught me with a decent punch, but it was like more or less. The other guy, you see, I'm more of balance. I'm trying to get my balance back here, but I slipped underneath my leg. My leg slipped underneath. He didn't have enough power like Vargas. Vargas was a puncher. He was not a puncher. He was just a work technician. When you knocked him down, did you think that that turned the fight around? Because in the following round, he seemed a little bit more tentative than he had been previously. Yeah, he's a smart fighter, you know. Um, today, I think I showed too much guts and not enough brains. I did what Phil told me not to do. I didn't show the skill that Kevin Kelly has. Are you I saying, showed are you the saying, brawn. Are you saying this 21-year-old kid outsmarted you? No, Kevin Kelly beat himself today. My father told me one thing, and I want to tell you this dad at home. You said the only man that can beat me is me. You 100% correct. You and Phil both. I beat Kevin Kelly today. Gonzalez didn't beat me. I beat myself. I could have had that fight. I showed it in moments. I showed it in spurts. I had him. But the point was, I let it slip away. I didn't do enough when I was supposed to do it. Metal Rex, I love you. Thank you very much, Kevin. Jim? No fear. My name All right.